Hey everyone! Welcome to this video where we'll be solving the Los Angeles Times Impossible Sudoku Puzzle for March 10, 2024. Let's get started. Let's move to number 1. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 1 can be placed. No other boxes have just two candidate cells available for the value 1. Let's move to number 2. Only two positions left in the first box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 2 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. Let's move to number 3. Only two positions left in the first box where value 3 can be placed. In the fifth block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 3 can be placed. Let's move to number 4. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 4 can be placed. Let's move to number 5. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Let's move to number 6. Only two positions left in the first box where value 6 can be placed. There is a hidden pair in the box 1. Notice how the candidates 2, 6 occur in only two cells in this. We have two candidates and only two cells where they can be placed in box 1. Therefore all other candidates can be removed from these two cells. Only one position left in the first box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 1 can be placed, please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. In the seventh block, the number 3 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 3 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 6 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 6 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 6 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 6 can be placed. Let's move to number 7. Only two positions left in the third box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 7 can be placed. Let's move to number 8. Only two positions left in the sixth box where value 8 can be placed. In the sixth block, the number 2 can be directly placed, please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fifth box where value 1 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 2 can be placed. In the sixth block, the number 5 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the eighth box where value 7 can be placed. There is a hidden pair in the box 8. Notice how the candidates 5, 7 occur in only two cells in this. We have two candidates and only two cells where they can be placed in box 8. Therefore all other candidates can be removed from these two cells. Only one position left in the 8th box where value 6 can be placed. 
Only one position left in the fifth box where value 6 can be placed. In the eighth block, the number 8 can be directly placed. Please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. Only two positions left in the second box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the second box where value 4 can be placed. Please note that the cells marked in purple contain number pairs. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 2. Value 4 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 5. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 4 can be placed. In the fifth block, the number 8 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 4. Value 8 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 6. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 1 can be placed. Only one is missing in the fourth row. Only nine is missing in the fifth box. Only one is missing in the fifth row. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 1 can be placed. Only two positions left in the third box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 8 can be placed. Let's move to number 9. In the first block, the number 9 can be directly placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the fourth box where value 9 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 9 can be placed. In the ninth block, the number 9 can be directly placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 1 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 7, value 1 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in column 1. Only one position left in the first box where value 1 can be placed. Only 7 is missing in the second column. Only two positions left in the third box where value 4 can be placed. Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Only two positions left in the seventh box where value 7 can be placed. There is a hidden pair in the box 7. Notice how the candidates 1, 7 occur in only two cells in this. We have two candidates and only two cells where they can be placed in box 7. Therefore all other candidates can be removed from these two cells. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 8 can be placed. Only two positions left in the first box where value 8 can be placed. In the first and second boxes, number 8 appears in the same two rows which means that 8 cannot appear in these two rows of the third box. Only one position left in the third box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the eighth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the 8th box where value 7 can be placed. Only two positions left in the 3rd box where value 2 can be placed. 
Only two positions left in the ninth box where value 7 can be placed. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 9, value 7 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 7. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the ninth box where value 1 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. There is a XY wing with the pivot cell row 2 column 8. This cell has two candidates, 2 and 6. One of these values has to be the correct one, but we don't know which one it is. If the actual value is 2, then the same value cannot also be in row 2 column 5. Thus the only possible value of row 2 column 5 is 4. The other possibility is that the actual value is 6, if that is the case, then that value cannot also be in row 3 column 7. Thus the only possible value of row 3 column 7 again is 4. But in any case value 4 can be removed from any cell that shares a region with both cells. Cell row 3 column 5 is a naked single. Only 4 is missing in the 5th column. Cell row 2 column 1 is a naked single. Only 4 is missing in the 1st column. Cell row 2 column 6 is a naked single. Only 8 is missing in the second box. Only 2 is missing in the second row. Only 6 is missing in the 8th column. Cell row 1 column 9 is a naked single. Only 2 is missing in the 9th column. Only 7 is missing in the 9th box. Cell row 1 column 7 is a naked single. Only 4 is missing in the 3rd box. Only 2 is missing in the 1st row. Only 6 is missing in the 1st box. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!